Alright, bros and broettes, I am back. Me, Mealy Movies, here with another episode of Joey's Campaign. This episode, as you can tell, is Quick Attack. Um, since the last two missions have had roaming monsters, you're probably expecting this one to have roaming monsters. And you would be right. Um, but in, uh, while the other ones had three, this one only has two. So, straight up where you got uh, Baby Dragon in Yugi's campaign. Send a guy up there. And uh, you will run into some roaming monsters. Uh, let's see if I can't beat this Aqua Midor team to the boss fight. Just in case, I'm going to put a cannon there, though. Just in case I don't make it. Or before the Aqua Midor team does, obviously. I can handle myself pretty well. Don't don't be don't be uh, disrespecting me. I can do this. Come on. All right. It looks like the boss is actually going to be pretty tough because he's got lava battle guard and swamp battle guard, which allows him to use his special ability attack, uh, barbarian double impact. Um, this team, the Aquamador team, looks actually pretty tough. Um, but I probably won't be able to beat him. I just realized he's going pretty fast, so the cannon will take him out. Or the cannon, the cannon in tandem with Malaruka's team. Well, that'll 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 help it out. So don't worry, bros, bros and broettes. Let's see, where are those roaming monsters? There they are. All right, they are in fact Sangenjin and Flame Cerebrus. I am so so happy to get Sangenjin, just because Sangenjin looks pretty awesome. Come on, he's blue, he's muscle bound, he's got red hair. He's got a mace, a sword, a spear, an axe. Come on, it's epic! It's epic! It's epic! 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 Ow! Um, actually, this fight, even if you have a sucky team, this fight should be no sweat. Mostly because these monsters don't have many action points and their attack is at pretty lackluster for being level 99. I mean, come on. Give me a break. It's not even it's not even a challenge. Yeah, let's see. Le level 80, they only even have 5,000 attack. It's pretty suckish. Pretty suckish. Alright, I just took out Singenjin. Um, I'm just gonna break through his guard. I don't feel like waiting. Don't even bother waiting. <laughs> Swift Panther Slash, and you have been defeated, Roaming Monster Team. And now, the moment you have all been waiting for, you have just obtained Sangenjin and Flame Cerebrus. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. Um, da, da, da. you know, I've always done. I've always disliked this map just because it's so small, and there's only three bases, and they're right in line with each other. I just don't like this this uh, this map. You know, I've also been thinking. <laughs> I mean, Nintendo or wh whoever made this game needs to remake it. Just make it the same. I don't even care about the graphics. Just please remake this game. It's such a good game. Such a good game. It wouldn't be if it wasn't a good game. I wouldn't be making a walkthrough what it uh, of it. Would I? Would I? Ooh, I might be able to make it. Just barely. Nope. Ah, just barely. I didn't make it. Huh. Well, since I since I don't even since you probably haven't fought this team before, I will just show show this team. I am stuttering. I don't know why. Let's get their HP down. Ah, they're getting their attack up while I get their HP down. Uh, if you guys are fighting this team full power, the guy you're probably going to watch out for is Akumador because he has the special ability Tidal Wave, which you're probably... Sh uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. It summons a Tidal Wave, and it hits you with water damage. Haha! <laughs> Flames do not hurt flame swordsmen. Foolish swordsman hitter. But crystal shards do hit Mega Zowler. So if you're if you're attacking anybody specific, know that fire doesn't hurt flame swordsmen, but crystal shards do hurt gigantic dinosaurs. 
Just saying. All right, that was an easy, easy. That was an easy amount of experience. Very good. Very good. Um, I don't know. I've been I've been thinking about this. Um, if you fight a team full force, like with them having no HP lost, I wonder if you get more experience than if they get hit by a cannon, and then you take them out. I don't know. All right, boss battle. Let's see if I can get out of this without them using Barbarian Double Impact. Okay, so far they haven't used it. He's had an opportunity to just right then. Um, bum, 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 bum. you should probably take out Lala Battleguard first because um, he has the least amount of uh, health. But it looks like I'm going to be able to to take them all out without him even be able to uh, to deal damage. So I probably shouldn't have to worry. No worries, mate. Oh crap! Never mind. Oh crap! Not good. Oh, ew, that was massive damage. Massive damage. That hurt. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, uh, Millennium Golem doesn't get status conditions. Yeah, I just forgot that. Silly me. Um, let's see. I'm probably gonna take out look, Swamp Battle Guard first. Then take him out with a Final Flame. Should be able to it anyway. Da da. Bum 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 da 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 do. Let's use that final flame on Millennium Golem since he's not paralyzed. Still doesn't kill him, but this will. Sterilize beam in the face. Take it, take it, take it. Oh crap! Ah, oh, you got out of you got out of paralyzation, the little fool. But it sucks to be him, because he still can't use Barbarian Double Impact. At least I don't think so. I think if you're confused... Um, if you're either confused or dead, then you can't use it. But I think if you're paralyzed, people can still use special abilities. Crap, that did not paralyze. And crap, 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 they're using it again. So that just confirmed what I just said. You could be paralyzed just not uh, confused and crab he got a critical on my illusionist faceless mage and killed him the little killer luckily that got rid of all the action points Lala Battleguard saved up so I shouldn't have to worry about that um, I'm just gonna take out or do as much damage as possible before my, t my uh, action points run out I would have been able to do this if he had not killed my illusionist face is mage. But you know, they cheated. Nah, just kidding, they didn't cheat. That was my bad. I didn't kill him fast enough. It's my bad. Sorry, bros and broettes, that was my fault. I admit it. Alright, I don't think I have a monster reborn in this team, so that uh, absolutely freaking sucks. Just gonna have to use blue medicine for now kinda of degrading but sorry losing spacious mage you died a little too soon sucks to be you got a critical you, you, you ruined it all for yourself um, I looked a little earlier when I was doing this and my sterilized beam now um, has the ability to uh, not be able to be dodged so that's something cool motion creatures attack not be dodged except of course motion creature lacks action points I mean this is almost ridiculous yes well, he actually has two, but I, I gave him a deal of Phantom, so now he has three. But anyway, Tristan shows up. Hello! He's been working as a mercenary, then he decided not to be a mercenary, and then the Empire starts beating up on him. Well, alright guys, you just defeated the boss, you got uh, Sanginjin and Flame Cerebrus. Next mission, there are no monsters, but whatever. Um, if you guys like my videos, uh, throw me a like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you then.